Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and a lot of you guys have been asking me ever since the unlock method came out for the Verizon version of the Samsung Galaxy S3, how do I install CyanogenMod 10? Now, I know it can be confusing, you know, with the kegs bootloader process, and now we don't need the kegs bootloader process. Uh, most of you guys probably already know how to do this, but if you're unfamiliar with it, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So you're going to want to head to the link in the description, and it will bring you to this page. Uh, where you can download CyanogenMod 10. CVPCS is the developer that's in charge of CyanogenMod 10 for this device. Uh, so he's already put together a couple of unofficial builds. It is going to be official very soon for CyanogenMod 10, so you can get all of your nightly builds from CyanogenMod.com. Uh, but for now, they are just unofficial nightlies, and you can download from the link in the description. Just click the download button. Once that's downloaded, you will go to easy recovery so just grab easy recovery from the market let's see I don't think I have it so we'll go to the market and we'll download easy recovery so easy hyphen recovery and I guess we do already have it. we'll update it real quick as soon as this installs we will just flash a recovery and then we can boot into recovery and flash the ROM. Simple, simple stuff. Also, I forgot to mention that you will want to make sure that you have the Jelly Bean G apps installed. You can also find those on the page uh, that's linked to in the description. Once Easy Recovery is installed, you'll select Open. And it's going to ask for root permission. You'll select Allow and then you'll just kind of swipe over. You're going to go to Recovery and you can choose between Clockwork Mod Recovery or Twerp. I prefer twerp or you can go the 6010 uh, but I'm gonna go with twerp and we'll flash that that'll take a few seconds and then we will reboot into recovery so there's no longer a need for the kegzek boot process which took forever so now you can boot signage in my 10 in like 10 seconds you'll go to wipe Factory reset, swipe to wipe. And you'll go back, cache, swipe to wipe. Back, Davit cache, swipe to wipe. Back, you'll go back again, install. And you're looking for the Clockwork Mod 10, CM10, uh, 816 2012, unofficial. That's what we're flashing. So choose that. Make sure that's what you're flashing there and swipe to flash. Now this may take up to, you know, two or three minutes to flash. As soon as this is done, we will flash our G apps and reboot the phone. Okay, so when that's finished, it will say successful. From there, you're just going to go back and you'll find the G apps, uh, Jelly Bean, and make sure that you're flashing the correct thing. You'll go ahead and flash that. This should, fla this should flash pretty quickly as well. And when that's all finished, we will reboot the phone. So just reboot system. And now we're good to go. Now this should just boot directly into CyanogenMod. And there you have it. So now CyanogenMod is booting. Of course, on the first boot, it always takes a little longer, but in my personal experience, I was able to boot into CyanogenMod in about 10 seconds uh, because, you you know, the KZEC process, it's trying to work around the bootloader, so you have to actually, it boots itself up like three times before it finally turns on. Um, looks like it's going to go pretty quick here. Or not. But now, now it will boot very quickly because you're not having to go through that entire KZEC process. This is pretty outstanding development. I'm glad that it happened. Now this opens up tons of doors for development on this device. This device should now become a pretty popular device. Uh, so today was a good day to buy a Galaxy S3. But guys, you can find more of me on DroidModerX.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Subscribe to this channel by clicking the button right there. Um, also, make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up. Let's see if we can reach 100 likes on this video. Man, that would really make my day. Um, it's like a pat on the back for me. It helps me more than you know. Uh, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.